your battery could be the single biggest point of failure in your solar system. And here's the shocking part. Most homeowners are being sold batteries that will cost them tens of thousands of dollars in hidden losses. I'm not exaggerating. I've seen families lose anywhere from $18,000 to $40,000 because of these three design mistakes that are happening right now as utility slash net metering and jack up peak rates. And if you don't catch these mistakes before you sign your contract, you'll be paying your utility for the next 20 years, even though you thought you bought freedom. So let's break down the solar battery crisis that nobody in the industry really wants to talk about. Because for the big companies, confusion is profitable. Here's what's happening. For years, net metering was your free battery. You could export power during the day, the utility would credit you, and at night, you'd buy it back at the same rate. That deal is dying. In California, NEM 3.0 slashed export rates down to just a couple of cents. Arizona, Nevada, Hawaii, even New York and New Jersey are shifting to time of use pricing. That means if you don't have a properly sized battery, you're giving away solar at pennies and buying back power at 40 or even 50 cents per kilowatt hour during peak. That means if you don't have storage, you are literally giving away power for pennies and buying it back for dollars. That's not an accident, that's a strategy. And California isn't alone. Arizona utilities moved homeowners to time of use billing long ago, making afternoon and evening power four or five times more expensive than midday. Hawaii eliminated traditional net metering completely. Nevada tried to kill it, faced backlash, and then came back with a watered-down version. Even states like New Jersey and New York are shifting towards time of use and reducing credits. Everywhere you look, the same pattern repeats. Utilities see rooftop solar as a threat, and they change the math to make sure you stay dependent. So how does this battle affect you? directly. Let me give you three real-world examples. First, the Tillman family in Fremont, California. They installed solar, expecting to cover their 30 kilowatt hours of daily usage. But under NEM 3.0, without the right battery, they ended up paying over $150 a month to PG&E. Even though they had the panels. They thought solar meant freedom. Instead, they became unwilling donors to the utilities balance sheet. Second, in Arizona, I worked with a family on the SRP grid who saw their solar production offset nearly 100% of the usage. But because they were billed un under time of use, their savings were slashed by more than half. Third, in New Jersey, customers on PSENG's new time of use pilot programs are shocked to see their evening bills jump even when they generate plenty of daytime solar. The message is clear. Utilities are rewriting the rules faster than most homeowners can react. So what's really going on here? Utilities claim it's about fairness. They argue that solar customers still use the grid at night, but they don't pay their fair share for maintaining it. But let's be honest. The truth is simpler. Utilities make money by selling electricity. When you generate your own, they lose revenue. To protect that revenue, they push regulators to approve new rate plans that make solar less attractive. And because most states treat utilities as regulated monopolies, homeowners don't get to choose another provider. It's like playing poker, where the house sets the rules and changes them mid-game. Now here's where the battle gets interesting. 
homeowners are fighting back. In California, after NEM 3.0 gutted solar savings, battery adoption skyrocketed. People realized the only way to beat the utility game was to keep their own power. In Arizona, savvy homeowners are pairing solar with storage to dodge peak rates. Across the country, batteries are shifting from nice to have backup to mandatory financial shield. That's why battery sales are exploding even as panel sales flatten. The future of this fight is storage. But storage alone isn't enough. You need the right design. An undersized battery won't protect you from peak rates. An undersized solar system won't keep the battery charged. And a wrong chemistry will fail when you need it the most. That's why I always tell homeowners, your installer isn't just selling you panels and batteries, they are designing your financial future. A mistake on paper can cost you thousands over the life of your system. Let's zoom out. Why should you care about this battle beyond your own bill? Utilities are trying to shape the entire future of energy. They want centralized control. Big solar farms, big battery farms, all feeding into their wires where they set the prices. Homeowners want decentralization. Panels on your own roof, batteries in your garage, independence from the monopoly pricing. This is more than just a fight about cents per kilowatt hours. It's about who owns the future of power, you or the utility. So what should you do to win your side of the battle? First, stay informed. Don't sign a contract based on outdated net metering assumptions. Make sure your installer is showing you projections under your actual rate plan. Second, insist on storage if your state has time of use pricing or reduced export rates. It's no longer optional. Third, think long term. Design for the future, not just your usage today. If you're going to add an EV, size for it now. If you're planning heat pumps, build that into the system. Future proofing is cheaper than scrambling later. The solar battle is going to keep evolving. Utilities won't stop trying to protect their profits and homeowners won't stop fighting for independence. But here's the good news. If you play it smart, you can still win. The math is still in your favor. Solar plus properly sized storage still delivers massive savings, long-term reliability, and the freedom from unpredictable rate hikes. But only if you understand the battlefield and design accordingly. So when you hear about utility companies updating their policies or modernizing their rate structures, remember what's really happening. It's not modernization. It's not fairness. It's a battle. And the question is, are you going to be a casualty of it or are you going to win it? The choice is yours. You might like an earlier video I made about the best solar batteries. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great one.